Commercial, come on back. Come on over, Joan. Okay, Very good. nice. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks, Paul. Hey, welcome back to the program, kids. Joan Jett is here, as you can see tomorrow on the show. Sun Magazine reporter Richard Dominic. Sun Magazine reporter. One of these nudist deals. Is that what we have here? Oh, crazy headlines. That'll be Richard Dominic. That'll be tomorrow. <laughs> and also Richard Pryor will be here. That'll be tomorrow. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How you doing? I'm doing fine. You sound terrific. It's nice to meet you, David. You're, fine. You're, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're just a kid, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I I, for, so. for some reason, I, I had it in my mind that you might be an older person, but you've been at this since you were 15 anyway. 15 years old, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, how many concerts have you been doing this year? In the last two years, how many have you done? Well, we really don't take much of a break of any sort. We really much, we pretty much stay on the road. I'd say a good 250 days out of the year, at least on the road. The yeah. rest would be done recording or doing various different things. But we tour, you know, we like to get to all 50 states yeah. and then get all, all over the world too. Yeah. And, and the song you did there, <laughs> some kind of a, a personnel problem in the back of the room. Probably an intern had too much to drink at lunch in there. Straightening him or her out right now. Uh, any, uh, anyway, the song you did there, that's the one that you've, you've written now like 43 versions of, right? Right. Now, why did you have to write different versions for that song? Well, actually, the original version, Roadrunner, was done by a guy named Jonathan Richmond and then Mod Modern Lovers, and he's from Boston. And this is the song, if you, I don't know if you noticed in the, in the song that says New York City. It's all about New York, yeah. yeah. Well, I live in New York, so doing the song, I changed it from the Boston lyrics. Mm -hmm. They didn't like that too much, especially yeah. after... They lost the uh, baseball. Yeah, the World Series. And so we decided to make a Boston version that was like like the original yeah. version. 
And that was something I planned to do anyway on the road was changed mm -hmm. with each, each city, you know, sure. Dallas, Texas, when it's late at night. And all of a sudden, the idea caught fire. And doing these personalized versions, so you have to really do one in each city on. you go into. Well, I don't have to. But, but you I do. do. But you it, it, now, do you have a version for Indianapolis? I don't. I don't. If you know were coming that. to my hometown, would you be able to oh, do yeah. that? You, yeah. So you would do that. Yeah, like I would sit there and I would say, David, what is the what's like the main highway that drive that you drive into Indianapolis on? You know, I need. I'd have to ask you some suburbs of Indianapolis, like. Can't you hear it out in Indy now? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, the like highway would be I-65. Yeah, I'm heading down I-65 down to the... Or, or the Loop whatever. 465 that goes around. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that, that's the idea. You just ask people who live yeah. in these places, like... So you make the song, it makes it personal And the, the place goes crazy when you do that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do, because I, it, I it's think that's personal, a nice touch. you know? Uh, now, I've also found this to be pretty interesting when people... Uh, young American men and women write you letters. You you answer them, but you don't write back. How do you answer the letters? I try to call people. I tell them to put their phone number in because seriously, if I was going to try and answer like all the mail you receive, you could you know you'd spend all your time writing letters. But that's a pretty good expense, isn't it? Calling all around the country to thank people for writing in. Well, I don't call every single person. Uh, you know. We have a letter here, Joan, to you. Uh, hi, Joan. I'm Dwayne. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. I have some pictures, so on and so on and so on, so on, so on. I wish I was your boyfriend or married to you. <laughs> because you are certainly sexy and good looking, baby. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I will let you know, I will let you go now, Joan, honey. Honey. And to keep on rocking, R O C K E N. <laughs> Gay public schools, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Roland, R O L L E N, baby. Uh, how old would you guess uh, Dwayne is? Just offhand. How, how old do you think this kid is? I would guess, I don't know, maybe 17. 17? Now, what, uh, how are we on time now? Now, if, I, if, we, if we call her, is there another going to be a fight in the back again? <laughs> <laughs> am I going to somebody else off back there? With... <laughs> I don't know. Every day is a fist fight. So do we have time to do this? You want to call him? Joan? Sure. Joan Baby? Now, I, w I won't know what to say to Dwayne. Where does he live? Oh, it's signed, Sincerely, Dwayne the Wild Man. <laughs> I wonder if he has business cards with that on. All right, so need a wild man? Call Dwayne. It's right here. In the... Okay, so I'll uh, just dial. Where is 219? 219. Anybody know? You know what that area code is? A disclaimer. What kind of a disclaimer? Oh, oh before they go on the... Oh, I'll take care of that. I'll handle the wild man. <laughs> Wayne, the wild man. Probably doing his homework now. <laughs> I like this Did you call later? I got a big test tomorrow. <laughs> uh, there's the first ring. Uh, according to this, the number we have reached is not in service. That doesn't really prove anything. I perhaps may have misdialed. I'm still rattled about that fight. <laughs> Try it once more, June. I can't get over. You look just like a kid. <laughs> I am a kid. I know, but I, I thought you were an older person. How do I look good, Joan? Great. How about these pants? I think the pants are really hot. Yeah. Oh, no. I feel like a dork. <laughs> uh, where, where are you from in the area? Long I live, Island? I live mostly in Long Island. Yeah. Yeah, I bounce back and forth yeah. to the city. And... Well, now I'm not getting anything. Oh, here, the first ring there for Dwayne the Wild Man. <laughs> uh, is the second ring? Hello, uh, this is Dave Letterman. I'm calling from New York City. Is Dwayne the Wild Man there? Could you put him on, please? <laughs> I think that was Mrs. Wild Man. <laughs> Dwayne's mom. Yeah. Hello, hello, who is this? John, is Dwayne there? Oh, that's people applauding. I'm having a party here at my house. <laughs> put, it, put on uh, Dwayne, John. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm holding on. <laughs> Doesn't understand we're doing a show here. No one, seems, no one else seems to understand that either. <laughs> uh, do you have a problem with chafing in that leather stuff? Actually, no. It's... Seriously, it's very, very comfortable. You really? might like to try it. It looks great. 
It's we're waiting now if you just joined us, <laughs> although I find that hard to believe. Uh, we're waiting now to talk with Dwayne the Wild Man. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I hear someone breathing. Oh, that would be Dwayne, wouldn't it? Hello? Hello? He's... Hello? Well, they're playing with us. See if He's can... wild. Yeah, they're, they're, they're Hello, kids Dwayne. and they're playing games Hello, with us. Hello, Dwayne the Wild so Man what do we there. Do? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. This is television the way it ought to be, isn't it? Did he just put the phone down? I don't know. I hear something going on. Maybe there's a holdup in progress at his house. Dwayne the Wild Man, this is David Letterman and Joan Jett calling you from New York City. Can we, uh, uh, can we do a commercial or just hello? do anything? Just We'll do a commercial. That's what we'll do, and then we'll, we'll come right back. <laughs> Okay, they're gone. We have a dial tone. I'm sorry, Dwayne the Wild Man has left us, uh, but you call him later. I will. Try and get in touch later. with Dwayne. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming. Have a great year and Thank come you. back anytime you're in the area. Thanks. It's uh, Joan Jett, ladies and gentlemen, and the new album is Good Music. Joan, thank you. Joan, now wait a minute. Come on. Come on. I wanted to say goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank bye -bye. You. okay. Uh, I wonder if I could get my weather job back in Indianapolis, Paul. <laughs>